Hey subscribers, uh, I got a package. It is gonna be the Real ACC XS 220E. I got it because I built this. It's just the X210 with the Luminear pod. This is Real ACC's version of this pod. Hopefully it's not thinking it's gonna be smashed flat when I open this because it's kind of a odd package here. Well, maybe not. You get this PDB, which is going to be the Matek uh, V2.1. And it's different. It doesn't have the holes for the solder on XT60, and it doesn't come with an XT60. And you get the battery plate, and you get the bumpers to put on the battery plate not on the arms of the quad because it wouldn't make any sense because the arms aren't going to touch the battery's going to touch first and inside of here is loose screws and more screws and this does not have the inserts like this does this has brass inserts that go inside of the actual shell and you can see on the side here, I had to flip my flight controller upside down to be able to plug into it, and it still didn't plug in very square. So I'm going to relieve this whole... My flight controller screwed up in this one now. I don't know what the deal is, but I'm going to put a new FC in there. I got uh, beta flight with OSD, and I have a flame one coming that I'm going to review too. But I'm going to change the FC in here so I can tune in the air. This shell is way... Mine's not cracked or broke or anything, but it's a lot softer than this. This thing is really thick. So, man, I really like that Stretch X. And it doesn't seem like it's much narrower. It just seems like it's a lot longer. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I'm liking the way that looks. It would be nice if it was a little bit narrower. Well, it is a little bit. So, helps you hit gaps better. No, just kidding. And if you look at this, you can tell the cutouts in the front, just like the other. So I'll just whip this on there real quick. Definitely going to be using longer screws than these little stubby things. I'm actually liking the way the Lumineer pod fits on this frame better. You do have to file the holes to get the Lumineer pod to fit on here. But I do like the way it fits. It almost fits even better than this one. So I bet that pod might actually fit nicer on here. I like the way they have it cut out for the X-T60. The camera is real tough to get in that one. That HS1177 because it's got the little knobs on it. It was hard, I had to make these holes a little bigger so the the little knobs could poke through. Yeah, like I said, I'm definitely using longer screws when I go to build this one and put this one together. You can kind of see there's a height difference. The Lumineer pod is taller and the Lumineer pod has, uh, let's see if you can see it. Underneath the antenna, there's a flat spot where you can actually zip tie around on it. This just has like a generic hole with no zip tie spot or anything on it. And the side holes, there's no hole on this side of the pod, but they have one on there. And then on this side, they have a hole where you can actually, if you flip your control, uh, flip your FC upside down, you can actually kind of get to that maybe if you make your stack. I got the stack pretty short and I still couldn't reach this hole. It was still over the top of it. So that's why I flipped flipped the board upside down and turned it so that it would come out this hole. So it was actually up over here. So when you flip it upside down, it actually comes out right kind of at the bottom edge here. You could go up a little higher, but then if you go up higher, the rest of your stuff hits the top of the canopy. So I think I got two 
I got a stainless nut and a nylock nut. I got the 4-in-1 ESC, and then I got two more nylock nuts, or nylon nuts, and then I got the FC upside down on there, and then you can actually plug into it. You might want to relief a little bit right here on the bottom so you're not jamming it in there because it is still really tight when you plug your cable in there unless you have a cable, unless you, like, grind down the edge of your cable so you can fit it in there because the cable I have is pretty fat. But this one will definitely have to be modded. There's no way you're going to plug anything in through this hole at all. And it's not even in the right, well, it kind of is in the right position if you're going to put your board the right way up. So you'll probably just have to make it a little bit bigger and then you won't have to flip your board on this one, your flight controller on this one. You'll be able to just straight plug in. So I say just make, stack it and then you'll kind of see where it's going to be. It'll probably be something like that. So this one will probably be, and I don't like the really generic holes for the antennas to come out because yeah, I don't like that. I'll probably just come off the arms with the antennas off each side of the arm. I'm not going to put them like this because they don't have the the tubes that make it nice. The tubes make it really nice to just put the antennas up to there and you don't have to worry about them or anything. But yeah, there's on this one I had to drill. Obviously it's not made for the pod. So I had to drill that hole and that hole to be able to run the zip tie around this XT60. So this one already has it, which is nice. So if you're going to use this pod on here, I'm pretty sure it'll fit. And you'll just have to file the holes a little bit in the frame to get this pod to fit on this frame. But you can make it fit. So all in all, I think it looks pretty sweet. I like it. It's lower, so it's going to be really hard to get everything in. This was really hard to get everything in, and it is taller. So this is definitely not a beginner build, and you're going to want to do like the flame board or something like that. I'll have the review of that coming up on my channel real soon here. And then you're going to want to run your ESCs on the arm, so all you have is that one board in there. Otherwise, you're never going to fit your receiver and your VTX in there. I got uh, X4SB in there. You'll see everything. So just check out the build video on that one. But it's kind of warped a little bit, that shell. So it's kind of, hopefully they come out with replacement shells pretty soon. Um, if they're out already, by the time I upload this, I'll put a link in the description. So the links for this is in the description. I would say if you want a race quad, build really super cheap. It's light. The carbon fiber is pretty good quality. You can see the layers, but it's definitely more sturdy than this three, three mil that I built this out of. But this is obviously going to be lighter because it's three mil, and this is four. So, like, subscribe. Any questions? Put them in the comment section. Have a great day.